Dinosaurs have always been portrayed with roars like thunder, but new research suggests we got it all wrong. After all, scientists are still trying to figure out what these massive creatures sounded like. And in many cases, the movies haven't even been close. Remember Rexy from Jurassic Park and its iconic roar? Turns out that the impressive sound effects in Jurassic Park were actually made using a recording of a baby elephant. Even though dinosaurs were reptiles, the folks behind the sounds in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Dominion didn't use reptile noises for their roars. Instead, they got creative and used sounds from mammals like tigers, lions, koalas. Yes, you heard that right, as well as donkeys, dolphins, and elephants to make those imposing dinosaur roars. We don't have much evidence of how dinosaurs produced such sounds when they ruled the Earth millions of years ago. In fact, the only way to know anything about dinosaurs are the fossils they left behind. Fossils tell us a lot about how they looked, but not so much about how they communicated. You see, sound doesn't leave a fossil behind. So, were dinosaurs silent, or did they communicate through frequencies just like dolphins? Back in the time of dinosaurs, it must have been downright scary. Most probably, they didn't make massive sounds that shook the land and trees. But don't think dinosaurs were silent either. Scientists are using remarkable new fossils and advanced technology to determine what noises dinosaurs might have made. If you're curious about what dinosaurs sounded like, scientists say we start by looking at their closest living relatives, birds and crocodiles. These animals have different ways of making sounds. Crocodiles have larynxes in their throats that vibrate to make noise, while birds have syrinxes, which are like tiny chambers in their chests that help them sing. But here's the thing. We've never found any evidence of these vocal organ tissues in dinosaur bones. This is due to the fact that vocal organ tissue does not fossilize the same way that dinosaur bones do because vocal organs are made of soft tissues, which disintegrate very fast. Sometimes, parts of bird syrinxes fossilize, but nothing like that has been found in dinosaur bones. It also seems like dinosaurs probably didn't belt out tunes or squawk like today's birds, which is actually a good thing for movies like Jurassic Park. No dinosaur bones were ever discovered with voice boxes for roaring either. Animals such as birds and crocodiles both show aggression by hissing, which does not involve any vocal organs. It is more like a deep exhale of air. So it is quite possible that dinosaurs hissed like angry geese, but on a much more intimidating scale. There's this other way animals make noise without effectively using vocal organs called closed mouth vocalization. It's when they push air through a special pouch in their throat to make low sounds instead of using their mouth. Birds like pigeons and flightless birds like ostriches and crocodiles do it too. If they can, it is highly likely that dinosaurs did it as well. But there's a catch here too. We now know that the sounds produced varied depending on the type of dinosaur. It seems that the bigger dinosaurs, like the megatheropods and sauropods, would have produced noises that were a mix of crocodile, elephant, and maybe even wild animal sounds. These would have been low-frequency noises. According to Tom Williamson, the curator of paleontology at the Museum of Mexico, low-frequency dinosaur vocalizations might have helped them navigate through thick forest vegetation. It's important to note that many platforms depict dinosaur sounds, but not all are reliable sources. Often, these depictions are based on bird sounds slowed down to create a prehistoric atmosphere. However, these renditions lack backing from reputable organizations like the BBC or research from paleontologists. While some attempts to recreate dinosaur sounds may be based on related modern animals, they're not always accurate. For example, we see so many variations of how Tyrannosaurus sounds starting from roars to deep thrusts. Some sounds are created to make Tyrannosaurus sound scary, and some try to make it sound more otherworldly. Take all these with a grain of salt as they may not be correct depictions. So the T-Rex, you take, that's a lion, but pitched down. This is an alligator. This so the cute baby elephant, find a way to kind of put them together. It's not Recent studies suggest that T-Rex might have had a different kind of voice. Instead of those loud, open-mouthed roars, it probably made deep, rumbling sounds, similar to a low growl. Imagine feeling the vibrations in the ground before you even hear it. Scientists have been studying fossil evidence, and using the latest technology, they are trying to recreate what T-Rex might have sounded like. 
Documentaries such as the BBC's The Real Tyrannosaurus with Chris Parkinson, who is a naturalist, as well as separate studies from paleontologist Julia Clark, point to the tyrannosaur indeed producing a lower frequency noise, adding more momentum to this theory. Let's hear what a real tyrannosaurus would have sounded like. If you think that's exactly how you thought a dinosaur should sound like, you will be surprised by this dinosaur. Parasaurolophus, a member of the Hadrosaurid family, was a fascinating duck-billed dinosaur that roamed Western North America and possibly Asia millions of years ago. These creatures were known for their distinctive crests, which stretched backward from their heads like long tubes. Scientists believe that these crests might have served multiple purposes, including visual display and communication. Back in 1995, scientists found a Parasaurolophus skull that was in great shape. In their search for animals that might sound similar to Parasaurolophus today, the scientists came across an interesting creature, the southern cassowary. These birds found in Australia don't fly, but they sure know how to make some noise. Deep bellows and growls echoing through the fields where they roam. It's like the forest itself is rumbling with their calls. Williamson and his team experimented with simulating the sounds that Parasaurolophus tubicin might have made. They tried recreating the noises both with and without various vocal organs, like the larynx found in mammals and modern reptiles. Surprisingly, they discovered that even without these vocal organs, the dinosaur could still have made sounds. This is because of the way air would resonate inside the crest on its head when the dinosaur blew air through it, similar to blowing over the opening of a jug. Interestingly, other hadrosaurs also had similar crests on their skulls, although not as elaborate as Parasaurolophus tubicins. These crests likely served both as a visual display and as aids to vocalization. Most likely, these dinosaurs would have produced low-frequency sounds. In fact, the fossilized remains of these creatures have even inspired some people to create musical instruments based on hadrosaur skulls. A few years later, they used a CT scan to make a 3D model of the skull. From there, they figured out what sound it might have made if air passed through its big crest. The sound it made resonated something like this. Imagine you're hanging out by a river in the time of dinosaurs. You spot a Parasaurolophus on the other side, and suddenly you hear it making these noises. If you think that's all we've discovered about dinosaur sounds, you may want to rethink because there's been a really rare finding lately. Scientists found a larynx from a Pinacosaurus, a two-ton armored dinosaur. These larynx are often common in birds and the reason behind their chirping noises. Isn't it intriguing how dinosaurs, typically not associated with chirping sounds, are now being reconsidered? Paleontologist Yoshida shed light on this by pointing out the discovery of a large larynx, akin to birds, suggesting they could produce a variety of sounds. It's also worth noting that birds use their syrinxes, not their larynxes, to vocalize. Considering the size of the dinosaur's larynx compared to its body, researchers plan to further investigate its potential vocalizations, they hope to find more specimens with preserved larynxes or even syrinxes to better understand how these dinosaurs communicated. While some scientists believe that these dinosaurs' vocalizations were similar to birds, there are still different interpretations of how dinosaurs produced sound. Even though there are differences in opinions about dinosaur sizes and sounds, one thing we know for sure is that this animal was the largest animal to ever fly in prehistoric skies, which you will learn all about in this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.